On to our top talker now here on this Monday afternoon at 5.30. The Minneapolis police officer arrested for George Floyd's death is now facing third-degree murder charge. It's a charge that isn't actually called third-degree murder in all states. We want to bring in our legal expert. You know her. You recognize her, Stephanie Haney. She's going to break down what the charge means exactly and why prosecutors decided to go with the third degree instead of murder one or murder two. Stephanie, break it down for us if you could. Well, Jay, as you can imagine, third degree murder is easier to prove than first degree murder. And it really all comes down to the mental element here. So that's probably why prosecutors went with this charge. It all comes down to proving the mental state that Derek Chauvin was in when George Floyd died. We have something similar here in Ohio. It's called involuntary or reckless manslaughter and very similar to Minnesota. So under the charge in Minnesota, the prosecution doesn't have to prove intent or a plan to kill a specific person. A typical example of this would be if someone kills someone by firing a gun into a crowd or driving through a crowded sidewalk, but with no aim at a certain person. Chauvin is also charged with second degree manslaughter, which can be satisfied if the prosecution can prove he acted negligently or not like a reasonable person would act, but still not that mental element there. Now, first degree murder, on the other hand, that's a specific intent crime. So the prosecution would have to prove that Chauvin specifically intended to, cl to kill George Floyd. And then you risk not being able to prove that to a jury. Stephanie, these are all murder charges, and some people are saying when you go to prison for murder, you're a murderer for life, and they're wondering what difference it makes if it's murder one, murder two, or murder three. I would imagine it would be for the length of sentence that, that, the, the, that the convicted would eventually get. That's exactly right, Jay. It all comes down to the amount of time you spend paying for the crime. Now, if we look at this, remember, no matter what happens here, George Floyd was given a death sentence. And that's not a possibility no matter what Chauvin is charged with in Minnesota because they just don't have that. So for what he's charged with, Minnesota's sentencing guidelines recommend 12 and a half years for a conviction on the third degree murder count and four years on the manslaughter charge. Now, as I said, Minnesota doesn't have the death sentence. So that means the harshest punishment for first degree murder in Minnesota is life in prison. So for Chauvin, who's 44 years old, that's a big difference. It's the difference between getting out of prison in his 60s when you can have a real full life after that. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. It'll be interesting to see if the charges will be changed now that the second autopsy actually showed asphyxiation as the cause for Floyd's death. Stephanie, thank you very much. We appreciate it.